everyone! Today I thought I'd show you some card games that I like to play with my family. The three games I'm going to show you how to play today is Kings in the Corner, Garbage, and War. All of them can be played with two players. Kings in the Corner can be played with four players. These games are really fun and I hope you enjoy them too. For Kings in the Corner, you start with a shuffled deck and however many people are playing, so you can have two to four people playing. Um, you are going to pass out seven cards to each player. So I'm playing with my sister, so I'll pass each of us seven cards. And then you stick the rest of your stack in the middle. You can look at your cards, and then, um, so this foundation pile, you're going to put one on each corner of the deck. So you make a little X. So, to go, basically you pick up a card, and the object is that you try and get, it's like solitaire where you want to go from highest to lowest. So it's this six here is a red, and this five here is a black. So you also want to alternate red and blacks, and you want to go down one. So six and five, and I've alternated red and black. And then I also have a king in my hand, so the kings go in the corner spaces here. So I started the king pile here. So the same thing, you're going to now treat this king just like any other pile where you go alternate colors and you try and put it in or descending order. Um, oh, I have another king. <laughs> and then I'm going to go like this and go like this. And then I can't go anymore, so my sister will go. So when you have a blank space, you can choose to put down any piece, card in your hand. And I won, because I've gotten rid of all my cards. If you want to score, then you give a point to the person who loses for however many cards they have left. So that's how you play kings in the corner. If you complete one of the kings in the corner from king all the way to ace, what you do is you stack it all up in one pile and then you flip it over and it stays like that and you can continue playing the game. So to play garbage, you first start with here, 10 cards each and you're going to line them out as a five, two rows of five. To play, the first person would pick up a card, look at what number it is, so I have a 10, so I'd put it in the 10th place of my cards. And I pick up whatever card was there, flip it over, and read it. So now I have six, so I put it where the six is. Eight, eight, two, two, and then I ended with a 10. And because I already have a 10 here, I can't do anything with it. So I put it in the discard pile. Now the second person can either pick up from the original draw pile or the discard pile. Clearly she's gonna choose from the discard pile. Why do we have identical ones? <laughs> and she can you know, ends because she has a six and already got a six. Um, jacks are the jo uh, like the wild card. They can go anywhere, so she can pick up wherever she wants to pick up and go through. Kings and queens mean nothing, so they just have to go in the discard. It's an automatic end your turn. No. I, once you've completed all yours, you are the winner of the round. So then you, she would go down to nine cards on her deck where I would stay at um, ten cards. And once I went around, then I go down to nine cards. Alright, the final game I'm going to show you how to play is War. So you start with a deck of cards and you divide it in half. Alright, so you take your deck and you hold it face down. You do not look at your cards before we start playing. So, each player is going to take their top card and on the count of three, flip it over and show it. There are, we lay down a five and a two. The person who puts down the higher card takes both cards and adds it to their collection. The goal of the game is to collect as many cards as possible, so you want to have a big stack of collected cards. And you just keep going until you run out of your deck.
Um, so she just put down a queen. Jack, king, and queen act as 11, 12, 13 as far as the deck goes. All right, so for this one, I laid down an ace and she laid down a jack. So jack counts as 11, but an ace is actually like a 14. It's higher than a king. It's not a one in this game. So I would collect both these cards. So in this case, what we do is we have the same card laid down. So what we do is we put down two cards face down and we flip over our third one and see. She put down a four, so she collects all of my cards, yes. including, oh, I got, gave you an ace. She collects all the cards and adds them to her pile. So to start the second round, you would collect up all your cards in your hand, and you would start the game again, continuing to see who has the highest. Um, it, this game basically has no end. It's really hard for one person to get all the cards. It is possible, and when one person gets a majority or all the cards, that is when the game ends. Don't forget to send us in pictures of you playing your games. I also would love to hear what games you like to play with a deck of cards.